everybody, this is Billy with Comageddon. It's where all worlds of geek collide. I'm going to be doing the weekly pop review. This week I'm going to do my Star Wars that I have out of my boxes of the movie scenes. I think they're really cool, so you guys can be the judge you want. The first one we got is the Cloud City Duel. With, as you see, they actually bobble with their real bobbleheads with Luke and Darth Vader. The only thing I don't like about it is how close the lightsaber is to Darth Vader already, and it basically looks like he's going to decapitate him. But, it's really neat. They actually got a lot of the detail in. I'm not sure if you can see. And actually on Vader, you can actually see the springs, which is really well. This one was the Walgreens exclusive. It was super hard to find here. I only found one. So... I actually traded a, a few pops to get this one. And then I ended up finding that Walgreens for my friend. The next one I got from my mother-in-law for Christmas. And it is another movie scene. This is the Walmart exclusive. The trash compactor scene from the Death Star. And they did a really good job with it as well. They got the little eye monster that was in that sucked Luke under. Leia trying to hold up the wall. I wish they'd have done more with this or had a separate one like that came up behind it that had Chewbacca and Han Solo. That would have been really cool so it like connected some way. So it showed everything or actually had like the walls because you see part of the debris. They could have painted the debris a little bit more which was really cool but they are bu actual bubblehead as well. I like the base. The base is amazing for this one. And this looks super cool. But, yeah, I just wish they would have painted the painted the actual trash itself. Give it a little bit, a little more pop. And, like, the water, because you can't really tell. It kind of looks like they're just stuck in concrete. But, other than that, it actually looks really cool. I like the detail on their on the hydraulic um, press that she, that she was using. I don't remember Luke having his blaster out in the scene. So, if, I, if it was, I don't remember. But, uh, the next one I have, my wife got for me for Christmas, and it's R2-D2 and C-3PO crash landing after they escaped Vader. Uh, I don't remember C-3PO having the silver boot in the, scene, in the movie, so I don't know if they messed that up or not, but even R R2's little, little bubble head, uh, I just don't know how they got out this little tiny pod with their big old heads. Don't get it. The sand's really cool. It actually has some texture to it. Not much. But it's got this neat little that thing right there. Which I noticed on the Wal Walgreens one, it does not have that. So, I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. But it even has C-3PO's footprints. And... There's one tire track, which, yeah, okay, yeah, they're all three tracks are there from R2-D2. But if any of you remember, if in the scene, if he had the silver boot, I don't remember that, so. That's weird, huh. Okay. Next is the Wedge and Tilly's ride, which I think is a really cool looking ride. It's got a nice base plate to it. He's a bobblehead as well, and with the snow speeder, of course, the, it's got to be, well, you guys can see that they did a really good job with the helmet and making all the symbols right. Can't really screw up Wedge's face because it's 90% of it's covered up except for this part. So you can't really screw that part up. The snow speeder itself looks really cool looking. It's got the little grappling hook on the back. He's bobble as well. And the base is, is really cool because the way they got it set up. And it has the, the Star Wars as well under there. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that Cloud City one. Why there's no Star Wars marking on it. Yep. No Star Wars marking whatsoever. Next is from the new movies. It's Kylo Ren and his... His TIE Fighter, and yeah, he's got the Star Wars on there, and he is a bobblehead as well. It's showing him with the scar across his face, 
So this is from the new the new movie, The Last Jedi. They did a really good job with this TIE fighter. Really cool on the back. Between this one and Wedge, they are both really cool rides. Some of my favorites. The Vader TIE fighter is cool. I've seen it. I don't own it. But this one looks really cool the way they got the detail of the fins and everything like that. But, yeah, once again, they showed the really nice base. Actually shows it supported. It's really tight. And that is, yep, that is all five. You guys seen the, the, the Yoda and the Bubba Fett ones. I've already done those ones, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. But if you like what we got, what, I, what you've seen, just let us know. Hit a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me your opinion, what I need to change, what, what we need to do like that. So, 